Hey, welcome to Strata Tree Gear. Today we're talking about mechanical advantage systems. I'm gonna be setting up the basic two to one system that we use for pulling over a lot of trees. Those of you who have trucks or other machinery, you think, ah, I don't need those. Just throw a pulley on the tree, redirect it, and we'll just pull it over. But actually mechanical advantage systems give you the, they have the key advantage of actually having hand feedback on how much tension is on the tree because there are a lot of situations where too much tension can be as big of a problem or as dangerous as not enough tension. Um, especially when you're multiplying forces uh, through through pulleys and other mechanical advantage systems. So it's really useful to know exactly how hard you're pulling, which you can only do when you're hand cranking. So uh, today we're setting up a quick two to one. We've got a power line over here that all these trees are kind of leaning towards. And they're fairly small. We don't got to set ropes very high. So we've got this one set. Now with the two to one and the three to one, these mechanical advantage systems, one of the important things to note is that your strongest rope needs to be the one that, that ends up on the tree. So this is a fairly heavy duty bull rope. I think it's a five eighths. Uh, it's more than enough, way more than enough uh, for this tree. And then my secondary line I'm gonna use is some smaller retired climbing line that we're gonna set up on this pull system. Now, because this line is experiencing twice the force that this line will be, that's why we gotta go bigger on this on the, the part where, where the pulley's attached. So to start off, I'm gonna tie a quick bowline on a bite Everyone's got their own little method for this knot. This is the one I like, it's quick to tie. Boom. We'll dress it up, make sure it's pretty. Uh, that's usually really easy to untie. I'm gonna throw my block on it. Got the ISC rigging block. This is one of my personal favorites. I've got three of them. We use them for everything. I have yet to destroy one. Unlike my DMM whales block, which did in fact get uh, broken. All right, so now I've got, this is where the two to one system comes in. I've got one rope here and I've got two legs. Now I'm gonna be pulling on this side with a force and that force will be matched by this side attached to the tree. So we'll go ahead and hook this up over here. I'll show you how we're gonna do that with a progress capture system as well. So that even if something goofy happens, it can't go, it can't get away from me. So I'm not just gonna be holding it by hand and if I slip on something, the rope goes. No, we'll have progress capture so that uh, it won't go the wrong way towards the wires. All right, so I've got both ends of my secondary line here. It's kind of a short one. And the main thing is one end needs to be anchored off to something solid and the other end's gonna go through my system. So I'm just gonna tie it off on my little porter wrap here. I might, uh, I'm in this situation, I might actually vector it onto another pine tree in the direction that I'm gonna fall. So when they're not totally parallel, the lines would be at a little bit of a gap. And so that reduces my power a little bit, but not too dramatically. And it gives me a little bit of pull in the right direction, but I'm not gonna worry about that for now. We'll just hook it up to the same spot that the other rope is connected to. Now I've got my CMI rope jack here, which is one of my favorite tools for pulling. I'm gonna open it up. and then I'm gonna pull the slack out of the system. Now the CMI rope jack itself does a pretty good job with progress capture. If I pull this, it generally locks up. These have the potential to strip the rope though if something crazy happens. So if I'm pulling really hard on something big, one of the things I'll do is I'll take this bite of the excess slack and I'll wrap it once around my porter wrap so that when I crank this, you know, I get a little bit of slack in here. I can cinch this off real quick and now, I'm locked off. So even if these have some trouble, you know, they don't even have to really be connected anymore. At least that one that can come off. And this will still hold everything if something funky were to happen and we're gonna get a big shake, wind gust or something, this will hold it. I'm not really worried about that in this situation because all I've got is a little pine tree. So I'm just gonna use this, put a little pretension on it. And I could tell how hard I'm pulling, not just by how much the tree's moving, but by hand. I've got this great feedback. Now it's a little bit slower 
been pulling with the machine. And if I got to pull a really long distance, say I got a really heavy leaner, which don't be pulling heavy leaners with ropes unless you really know what you're doing. But if I've got a heavier leaner than I normally would, and I need to pull a lot of distance, this might not be the best solution because this is really slow and steady, but it's a lot of torque. And I got my feedback. We'll go ahead and I'll probably get this pretension and then just fall it. Say so I'm, I'm gonna lock this off right here and then uh, drop this sucker. So that's cut as much as I dare. It's leaning in the right direction, just a little bit caught up in the tree behind it. I'm gonna go back over here and pull on it. And now is when I'm glad that I didn't face it right at where I'm pulling. It's a little bit to the left on one side so that I can fall through this gap, but also so that if I have to crank on a little bit more, it's not coming right at me. So once again, I'm using mechanical advantage systems because I like the feedback I get from it. So once again, I'm using mechanical advantage systems because I like the feedback, the manual feedback. It's not that much slower than pulling with a machine. I can leave this set up. I've got a bunch of trees. We're gonna pull them all over this direction. Um, and I know exactly how hard I'm pulling. In this case, it matters because my rope up there that the climber set isn't a really huge rope and I don't wanna put a huge amount of tension on it, especially since I don't know the history of that rope. If that rope breaks mid pull, that's gonna cause me problems. This mechanical advantage system allows me to be a little more confident about some of the variables because I know how hard it's being pulled. So that's the basic two to one system, one pulley on the line that's coming out of the tree or a snatch block, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if there are a lot more ways to set this up and I've kind of given you just the basic overview. There's a lot of nuance when it comes to pulling over trees with ropes. Um, if there's any big pieces of advice you think I should have or other people should have, leave in the comments. I'd love to have your feedback. Um, and I just want to start shouting out that I'm planning on producing much more in-depth detailed videos of these sorts of things. Uh, I'll probably do a whole series on two to one systems on ways to, you, to do it with, with no pulleys, uh, with, with this one rope instead of two. There's so many different ways to set it up based on what equipment you have. So I'm gonna do some more in-depth training that'll be available uh, to be determined at a later date. So keep your eyes out for that. I wanna shout out First Impressions Tree Service for letting me uh, do that on their job today. We're working with them. And I'm gonna let that truck go by. I'll have to dump some chips. So thank you First Impressions, Tom, for uh, sponsoring this video. You guys do great work and we're glad to be working with you. And uh, see you next time on Strider Tree Gear.